Hello dreamers, this is Rob with AV Dreamer and today we're going to take a look at a DIY project. Uh, my son and I built this over about a three week, four week period, I can't remember how long it takes, but um, this is a, our, I call it the Monster AV Rack. So we got two by two steel, we got one and a half by one and a half steel, and we have one by one steel, and then we have two by ten um, pieces of lumber here that we made into the shelves. So, hope you enjoy the video, and please give me a big thumbs up and subscribe to this channel. Have a great day. The, the same one, this top one here is the original to make sure that all the others are exactly the same. So it turned out pretty good and as you can see here, I don't know if you can, hopefully the camera's focusing. Looks nice. And then this side's the same. It should work well. Okay, we got the main two supports cut. And this is just mock up of basically what it's going to look like and then I'm going to have a couple of 2x2 two two shelves in there. shelves welded on there and I know this looks kind of rickety but everything's pretty much level but we're gonna have adjustable feet on the bottom so if it's off a hair not a big deal we'll, we'll, we'll fix that we'll level it out at the house but yeah it's looking good all right so we got most of the welding done we still got a few more little support pieces to put up but And then it's not turning out too bad. We made the front leg maybe a little bit too long. Um, the thing will definitely hold a lot of weight though uh, once we get it all, all done. But we still got a few more welds to do. But it uh, doesn't look too bad. Oh, for the 
foot, weld it on, whatever comes out. Not even damaged. Look at that. That's nice. I don't need the rest of the ones. Almost got the shelves done here. Got them all drilled. I just gotta glue these ones. These I'm using the Craig jig, and uh, those will just go right into that hole. These are the bottoms. There's the other one, and I've got. Here's the feet that are going on. Like two inch feet, very heavy duty, very overkill. And there's two over there, shells that are completely glued and screwed, so those are almost ready to stain. And here's the rack sitting on its side. And ATV's a little on the close side, so and we uh, welded on uh, support bolts there for the uh, legs. And uh, this, this bottom rack's gonna be a little challenging because I got these support bars here. So I'm gonna have to make it in two pieces, but it uh, should go together pretty good. But uh, yeah, the overkill rack's going pretty good. Should have it done hopefully in the next few days. So here it is all painted. We used a uh, truck bed liner paint just to give it kind of a gritty, texture to it but uh, and plus really durable as well so it turned, didn't turn out too bad pretty happy with it I think it'll be uh, cool once we get it all done I got it down in the basement. Got these big, massive two inch feet on there. Way too many, but again, this is a way overkill project. Got eight of them on here. Now we'll stand it up and put the boards on. So I designed this rack to be just over the top, overkill, monster. I mean, I got two by two shelves um, using two by 10 lumber. And uh, the, you know, the, the, the four shelves here are two by twos and the bottom shelves about a three by three. Um, thing is just, will hold just about anything I wanna put on it. Uh, my son is a welder by trade, so he did all the welding as you have seen or will see in the video. And he did a really good job. I put these front supports on this uh, next to bottom shelf here just so I can, if I hold any, anything extraordinarily heavy, then it won't be a problem. It was a bit of a challenging challenge cutting out those uh, notches in the wood there. Get that to fit but it turned out pretty good notice there are no front supports on the top three shelves here I did that on purpose so wouldn't have any obstruction getting equipment in there um, just nothing in the way you know I do have some supports in the back here just to give the uh, shelf a little strength but those are one inch by one inch square tube, square tubing, and uh, estimate each shelf will hold a good 100 pounds or so. So there you go, there is the monster rack. Hope you enjoyed the video. Um, it was a lot of fun to build with my son since he was home for about five week period during the whole pandemic thing. So I built this rack mainly because I wanted something that was bulletproof that could hold virtually any type of equipment that I wanted to put on it. Um, each shelf will hold about 100 pounds and the bottom two shelves will hold well over that. Uh, plus the back here, there's no obstruction so I can get to all the wiring. There's no issues whatsoever. 
um, air, plenty of airflow, no cooling issues, no nothing. So each shelf is about a two by two, 24 inch by 24 inch, and the bottom one is a, about a three by three. Um, you know, we picked up all this metal, raw metal locally here at one of the uh, metal uh, supply stores. And, uh, and of course the wood all came from Home Depot. So uh, if, you're, if you like this video, if you, want any, if you have any more information on, on anything you saw here today, dimensions, that kind of sort of thing, I'm 6'3", so you can kind of tell it's probably five and a half feet tall or so. But if you like this video, please give me a big thumbs up and please, please subscribe. I'm gonna have some more exciting stuff coming down the pike. So until next time, keep dreaming.